Hello everyone, welcome back. So in my last session, I have shown you how we can generate the thumbnail of an image using computer vision and uh, logic app. So that was basically no code solution in which we didn't write even a single line of code. And looking into that and proceeding forward, I thought to create another video in which we will be talking about function app to achieve the same flow. But in this case, we will be using SDK to make a call to the API and then generate the thumbnail image. So I will quickly walk you through the use case once again. So use case is pretty simple. So whenever an image is uploaded to Azure storage, computer vision API will read that image, analyze it, and then it will generate the thumbnail based on the user provided dimension height and width. Uh, along with whether it is uh, whether user needs smart cropping or not so these three are the main parameters which are required by a computer vision api to generate thumbnail of any image so let's get started and i can quickly show you how we can start this entire workflow from scratch so I'm on my Azure portal and the very first thing which we need is the instance of computer vision. So you can go here and search for computer vision. Click on that and here you can see there's a create button. So click on this create button and it will open up a new blade in which you can provide all these uh, necessary details. So here you need to select the subscription. Another one is the resource group. So you can either go ahead and use uh, your existing resource group or you can also go ahead and create a new one for this particular application. Then you need to select the region which is very closest to you. You need to provide the name of this instance and the pricing tier which is free as well as standard. So you can choose whatever you want. So if you're just experimenting, I would recommend you to go with the free one. And at the end, there is a AI notice which you need to go through it. And if you agree, you can click on this box and click on review plus create. So once you are done with this, you will see that an instance is created and it is having the required endpoint and the keys. So I'm not doing it because I'm already having it here. Next thing which we need is the Azure storage. So Azure storage, you can go ahead and click on the storage accounts and definitely you can click uh, press create and furnish all these required details and you will get your storage account ready. So that thing also I have already created for you in order to save the time. And this is the container which we will be using. So whatever we are uploading in this particular container, uh, we want the thumbnail image to be generated for those images. So this is on the portal side. Next, we need to go ahead and work out on the Visual Studio. So for that, I am using Visual Studio 2019. And here we will go and create a new function app. So click on new project, search for Azure functions. So this is the one. Click on next. And here we need to provide the name of our Azure functions. So we can say thumbnail generator okay and location I will retain, stick with this <clears throat> so here are the uh, all the triggers which we can use it when working with function app uh, in our case we are interested on, uh, mainly in the blob trigger because we want to monitor Azure storage blob container so click on this and on the left hand side, we need to provide with storage account or what is the connection settings we have. So click on this, browse. And of course, you have to log in with your same Azure account. So I'm selecting the one which I have already created. Connection string, you can specify or you can leave it empty. And the path. So this is the path of the folder. So I want to monitor the images folder which is placed under this particular storage account. So after doing this, click on create. It will take few minutes. So this is the skeleton of our function app and you can see that uh, folder name is already populated. Connection string is empty because we didn't provide the name. 
but at the same time you can see that in local settings of json your connection string is already available okay so now the very important thing is how we can pull in the libraries or how we can refer the sdk so for that we i will be using new kit package manager and here search for computer vision so it should be the very first link so microsoft.azure.cognitiveservices.vision.computervision so this is the one which we need click on install and we need to accept it in order to proceed further okay so it is installed let's go back and now here we need to write the code in which we will be making a call to the api so i have already have that code handy with me so i will quickly paste it over here and of course we need to pull in all the references so computer vision it is in the okay so this is the basic and the very simple code which we need so nothing fancy we are doing here this is just for logging purpose and this is again the logging next is we are create calling a thumb generate thumbnail method so it is taking four parameters first one is the stream which we got it from the azure storage and these two are the height and width of the thumbnail image which we want to get it generated true means would you like to do smart cropping or not okay so next i am having the path so i want my thumbnail to be placed here once it is generated next thing is reading the stream so here it's just simple few lines of code wherein we are reading the stream and getting the byte out of those so now coming to the important things so this is the method wherein we are actually generating the thumbnail so first of all we need to create the client object and it is expecting key and the endpoint so for the key and the endpoint we need to go back to azure portal go to the computer vision resource click on keys and endpoint and then we can grab the details so i will place it over here similarly for endpoint i will place it over here okay so doing this will get you the client object and we can further make a call using that so this is how we need to do let's quickly test it so for that i will run it from visual studio itself it is still running let's give it few more seconds okay so now i will go and upload an image to our azure storage so let's go to azure storage go to containers and this is the folder in which we need to provide our inputs so i am going to pick some random image let's see this one okay so we have inserted an image and now it should trigger the function app so you can see that it has already been triggered and it has already extracted the name so that is the group.jpg for which it is trying to generate the thumbnail so this is the group.jpg now we can quickly go and have a look at the path so probably i can go ahead and confirm see my demo thumbnail so go here and here you can see that see mine demo thumbnail so this is a thumbnail which is generated and the dimensions you can see it is 30 by 30 so if i will open it you can see that a thumbnail image is generated so this is how we can do it how, how we can make a call to api to get the thumbnail image generated now how to deploy this function app on azure Uh, that I'm not going to discuss on this, but if you're really interested, I can quickly point you to the documentation. So you can search for this particular string on the Google search engine, and on the right hand side you can see publish to Azure. So it will navigate 
or it will help you in a step by step fashion that what needs to be done what needs to be uh, done in order to execute this entire flow and once it is done you are good to go and you can see that this function app is available in the Azure portal also once this deployment is successful so hope you enjoyed today's session and i will see you next time with another new topic thank you so much